How you guys look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 tier list video and today guys we're going to be ranking all of the objective cards so far in FIFA 21. There's 104 in total that have uh, been released so far in objectives. Slightly less than what we've had in SPCs. I did actually do a video yesterday ranking all of the um, FIFA 21 player species that we've been given so far and there's like 156 of those. So a little bit less in objectives. Um, but even so, we're gonna go through this video. It's sort of in order on when they were released, kind of like the full birthday cards are at the bottom. Some of the earlier, like one to watch cards, I tried to put it into order, but it hasn't properly done that. But it, it, it's in a sort of order, like the few um, future stars cards are there together. You got the two uh, what if cards together and stuff like that as well. So um, we're just gonna go from from the top left to the bottom right. I'm gonna be ranking these cards based on a few things. Um, we're going to rank them on when they were released. So I'm not going to rank an Akin Fenwars card based on how he is at this current stage of the game. Because that's just not fair. Because obviously he'd go into the rubbers category, wouldn't he? We're going to have to rank them, or I'm going to rank them, on when they were released as the objectives. So obviously Akin Fenwar being from Rule Breakers. Rule Breakers was one of the first promo uh, you know, at the start of the game. He was a good card to end towards, um, you know, in the early stages of FIFA 21. And also what the value for time on these cards was. Because obviously they're all free cards to be able to unlock. And there are some fantastic cards here really really worth your time and there are other cards that in my opinion weren't worth your time too much but we're gonna go from the top left to the bottom right um and yeah we might revisit this video uh, after team of the season uh, if you guys enjoyed it you guys actually really enjoyed the SBC's uh ranking videos got uh, quite a bit of support so far that we do one for objectives so we're going to start off with rule breakers Akin Fenwar and I'm going to go average for him I thought he was a decent card to be able to work towards um obviously being from the championship there are various different uh, championship squad foundation cards as well. Uh, the silver cards don't really require too much effort to be able to, you know, to be able to unlock them. Even for the stage of the game, though, he only had like 50 passing and like really, really poor dribble. But like his pace, shooting, and physicality was still pretty insane on this card. It was a cool concept. I liked it. Um, I liked being, I, I worked towards getting him as well. And it wasn't too hard. Like the value for time wasn't too bad. You could make a case because he was part of the early stage of the game to maybe put him into solid. But I am going to go average uh, for Akin Fenwar. Now, Yotta, uh, for one to watch. Of course, the first promo... Uh, I, well, I, some people say that one to watch is a promo and some people don't really class it as one I do class it as a promo and Jota was the uh, one to watch card that you could work towards and I'm putting God tier for him because he's a card that has gone on to have a few upgrades over the past couple of months he went to an 83 rated and then to an 85 rated his card wasn't didn't require too much effort to be able to work towards and uh, obviously he's doing pretty well again now he's back fit and playing for Liverpool he looks really really good for us there's a decent chance that this card may get more upgrades and I think this was a card that was really really good value for Time. And I think just being able to work towards him at the start of the game, I thought in general he was a really, really good uh, objective card. Um, the silver in form, Moise Keen, I will go with average. Lacazette, who was of course part of that first level 30 batch of season's progress cards, I'm going solid for him. I thought he was a good, good card to be able to work towards. And of course, those level 30 cards in season's progress, the cards that you don't really have to put kind of like specific time in being able to grind them, you kind of just get those cards. As long as you play the game every single day, and basically just, you know, score goals and, and, and win matches and, you know, score like with midfielders and, and strikers and stuff like that. And maybe play the odd few squad battles or friendlies game here and there. You kind of just work towards these cards just over time just by playing the game. You don't really have to do that much kind of specific stuff to be able to get them. So I thought that this card was very, very solid. Um, Lima from the first batch of MLS milestone cards. I'll put an average. Uh, Molle's League SBC card, the first League SBC card in FIFA 21. I'm going God tier because a lot of people, despite the League SBC cards requiring a lot of time to be able to put in to be able to get them, they were a hundred and still are. They're a hundred percent worth being able to go for. And Molle. A lot of people really, really liked working towards this card. A lot of content creators really, really enjoyed going for him and like Road to Glory squads and stuff like that as well. Um, so I will put him in God tier. Uh, another one of the Silver Star informs, I will put this one. Uh, an average purely because he had like a lot of good pace and dribbling, so he's still pretty useful. Even even now, when you're trying to like complete other silver star cards, you see this guy still come up quite a bit. Mukiele's uh, rule breakers card. I'm gonna go solid for him. Thought he was good. There's a lot of French cards that were actually given as uh, as objectives in this game. Lacazette, Mole, Mukiele. They're all from different leagues, but even so, you can still put together just from objectives a pretty good French team. Sabitzer was also a part with Lacazette of that first batch of uh, season's progress cards. We'll put him in solid. Vajra was the first silver in 
form in this game, and I will go uh, average for him. They're very easy to work towards the Silver Star card, so obviously uh, being from the Premier League as well, I think he deserves to be an average there. Benat was the final card, a part of that level 30 season's progress will go solid for him. Boyan was the was, was the card that you got for completing all the first batch of MLS milestone cards. I will put him in the side category. Long was also a part of that, but not quite as good as being able to get that final reward for Boyan. He will go just like Lima into the average category. Now, this guy from, I don't think that's Leipzig, I think that's Salzburg. Um, not very easy to fit into teams. Don't often see him. I don't think many people really bothered to go for him, did they? I'm going poor for this one. Obviously, they're easy to work towards, but it was a card that once you got him, you couldn't really fit him into any team at all. He'd always be then on, like, off chemistry or whatever, uh, being from the Austrian League, so I'm going to put him in, uh, in poor there. Uh, Bellerin's League SBC, I'm going god tier. Um, you know, I, I remember when this card came out, you know, fullbacks from the Premier League at the time were so expensive or they weren't good enough. You know, so exactly, you know like, Kyle Walker, for example, was probably over, like, 100000 and coins trends as good as he is defensively lacks in pace and stuff like that uh his gold card anyway so i thought that bellerin was a really really cool card to be able to work towards case was a part of that second batch of season's progress cards and i put him in solid thought he was good king for milestones obviously now he's at everton uh but this card's you can still work towards um, from the first championship milestone section. I'll go average for him. Ada was also a part of the um, Seasons Progress Batch 2. I'll go average. Aspas, I will go average. Uh, Correa for the Road to the Final cards. I think Road to the Final might be the best promo so far this game. Because yesterday when I was doing the SBC video, a lot of the uh, Road to the Final cards, you know, like the uh, Felipe Anderson SBC, Isco SBC... Um, Mesa Mount SBC, I ranked them very, very highly. Now, whilst Lazio went out in the last 16, he still got the upgrade from going through the, um, the group stage to the last 16, and it was a good card to be able to work towards. I'm going solid with, uh, with that career card. Uh, Roman Goli, I will go solid as well. Tello, I will go average. Uh, Young. I'm putting in rubbish. He might be one of, like, only two cards that might go into that one. I don't think many people would have chosen him. Uh, I just don't think he was great. He was like one of the level 15 cards. Adams is in form. I'll go average. Uh, Kunde, again, uh, I, I would put in slot just like Korea. The, uh, again, Sevilla got knocked out in the last 16, but they still got through that group stage. And um, and, and they were both very, very good uh, cards to work towards. So the MLS milestone cards, this guy for the defender position, I'm going to go average. I'm going to put Bergwin's card in solid because a lot of people still like using this card as a super sub. He's very, very good in this game. As is Coleman, I completely forgot about this card until I was like researching a little bit earlier on, on like all objective cards that we had. I completely forgot about this team at the group stage, uh, Coleman card. Cards. And he's still got some very nice stats, and it's his highest rated card still that he has this year. I will put him in the solid category. Uh, Gravenberg, I will put in average. Romero, Silver Star, Team of the Group Stage card, average. This inform, both of them play for Salzburg, and yeah, okay, fair enough, they both do link together, but I'm putting them in poor, both of them, to be honest. Uh, Bradley Dax card, I'm going to put in poor. Uh, Dedefleo's League SBC, I'll put in solid. Rodrigo's uh, record breaker card, the only record breaker objective that we have had so far in this game, I'll put in average. Sambia's uh, silver uh, silver star card, I'm going to put in solid because this was a good card. He, he now has a full birthday card, but even his silver card, very easy to be able to work towards and actually has some really, really good stats. Sinclair from Press, and I'll put in poor. Bakambu, I'll put in poor. Even when he came out, I didn't think he was great. Emerson, I'll put in solid. I thought that was a really, really good card. Uh, Player, I'll put in average. Pulisic, I'll put in God tier. I think he was a fantastic card to work towards. Uh, Tayob was from like season three, I believe, of uh, of season's progress cards, and I'll put average for him. Blassie's foot freeze card. What was interesting is I thought that foot freeze had really, really poor SBCs, but actually in terms of objectives, I thought they were brilliant on the objective side. Balassi, I'm going solid. The same with Kappa, I'll go solid with him. Dam's fullback cards. I'm also going solid. Uh, Duncan, now it's saved the same image as, as Dan there from um, from Atalanta. But Duncan was a really good card to work towards. O only being level 15, he was very easy to be able to get to. As like a box to box mode, uh, as a box to box with a different Syria at that time, I think he deserves to be in solid. So we'll go with him there. Voland was probably the worst, I'd say, in my opinion. Of the future stars, and uh, not the future stars, of the... He was still decent, but I think he was the worst one out of the uh, foot freeze cards. I'll put average for him. Um, I can't even... I'm not even going to pronounce his name. I know he's got an inform now. I'll put slide for him from the buttons of getting stuck card. Actually links as well to Balassi. Um, so it's pretty good if you were able to get both of those cards from objectives. Um, but yeah, he'll go into that one. He was like, he was a really, really good uh, silver uh, star inform to get to uh, work towards. Uh, honorable mention, Jack Grealish. 
was this a lone card or was this a card they could actually work towards? I think it was a card they could actually work towards. I think it's the worst card design that we were given in this game. I think the honorable mention cards were terrible card designs. But in terms of what you had to do to work towards him, I thought it was solid. Uh, your handbash, I'll go average. Uh, Kital, I will go average. Suarez, uh, player moments card has to go into God tier. Why would I just put Suarez? I've just completely lost where I put him. I put him into poor. He's definitely not in poor. He's 100% in God tier. Uh, of course, this car was released at the start of, I believe, the Team of the Year promo. And he was so easy to be able to work towards. I still think he's the highest rated objective card that we have been able to work towards so far in this game. And that was back in January, which is pretty insane. I don't think we've had a higher rate of cards since then. Uh, Tonali, I thought this was a solid card to work towards. Unlike um, where I ranked his uh, one to watch card. I think that went to the rubbish category. But this player moments card, solid. Fun to be able to work towards good cards. Uh, one of the Union Berlin informs at point average. Mateus Kunha, although he hasn't had any informs, I still will put in solid uh, for him. Guedes, I will put solid for his League SBC card. Romarino, I put solid. Sinkraven, I put God tier. I think this was a really, really good League SBC card to work towards. And obviously, since then, you know, the Bundesliga this year has had like a lot of really, really good SBC, um, you know, defenders come out. You know, had the Vendel SBC, which, okay, fair enough, was also a left back. But you had the two Bender brothers. You had the Jerome Boateng SBC. So, Sinkraven was a really good objective card to be able to work towards, in my opinion. Um, this Sam Pandoria Silver Star card will put an average. Uh, Benedetto, I'll put average. Uh, Cucurella, who you actually could just work towards, I believe, in objectives. The problem was with these Future Stars cards, they required so many games to be able to work towards them. But at the time, there weren't too many good left-hand sided players in um, in La Liga. So I will put him into solid. For Fana, I will put into solid as well. Uh, Reach, I will put into average. The Sigli is going solid. Uh, Dembele is going solid. Yanazai, although 88 rated, I don't think he was very good at all, so average for him. Rainer's cards, I'm going to put solid. The thing was, these Future Stars cards were very, very good, um, but the only reason that would probably stop me putting like a Rainer card or a Fafana card into God's tier was the amount of effort and the amount of games that you had to put into these cards. It was ridiculous, like, way, way too much, but they were good cards in all fairness. Uh, a few more of the... Um, Season's Progress cards will go average for him. Sessignon will go average, average. Buendia, I will put in solid. Gwenduzi, I will put in God tier because he got the upgrade for the What If card. Um, and he's fantastic. An 89 rated CDM card, I think he's fantastic. Henry, which is part of the second batch of championship uh, milestone cards, I'll put solid for him. Lerma, I'll put an average. Neves with his League SBC card, I'll put solid for him. He's a good card in this game. I just think there's already like a lot of other really good um, Premier League midfielders. And I'm not going to be able to finish this video before the 15 minute mark. So I'm going to stop the video and come back and then we'll finish off the rest. Okay, guys, so on in to the second part. So we only have like a few more cards to be able to... Uh, check out in this second part bit so into the what if cards now this way card is actually going to be going to a 74 rates i believe <clears throat> because uh lil were able to fulfill the goal scoring uh, i think on friday night or something like that so this card as a silver card that will go to a 74 rates and it'll be absolutely insane he's going into solid for me i think he was a good card and for me kabuto um has to go into god tier i think so as you can see here um i think that what if very much just kind of like the uh the UCL Road to the Final cards were very, very good promos in what they kind of offered in objectives to be able to work towards. Uh, now, Klaus, I would go with average fit. Now, I'll go with solid with him. Just like Sam Bia, a really, really good fallback from uh, from League on Danilo, I thought, in my opinion, the second batch of... Um, of, of Edivis milestone cards were poor. I thought Danina was poor, to be honest. Now, the left winger I thought was average, and I thought that Max of average as well. I didn't think they were very good. I thought that the first set were there with Van Bergen and stuff like that was was a much better set than 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 the, than the second one. Now, for the MLS, I thought they had a decent second set. Arrow, the fullback, I would go with solid. Um, Giroud's player moments cards, fun to be able to work towards, but the card itself wasn't good in game. But because he was pretty easy, he was he's a nice big 90 rated fodder card to put into SBCs and stuff. So I put solid for him. Uh, Gaia from that second batch of MLS cards, I will put in average. 
uh, Martin, or we'll, we'll do Martin in the second, actually. We'll finish on the final uh, MLS milestone card for Wanayama. If we're completing that second batch, you get him. I will put him in solid Martins for this current season's objective cards uh, for level 15. I will put in average Connolly um, for the St. Patrick's Day cards. I liked what they did for the St. Patrick's Day celebration, putting in three Irish players, but Connolly was average. Henrik was average, Horgan was poor, in my opinion. Obviously, he can link, get that strong into Akin Fenwar, um, wherever he is there in the average category, but I, st I didn't think it was a great card. McGeady's silver cards, average. Being from League, uh, from League One, where it was Sunderland, it's very hard to link him in, but uh, as a silver card, he's pretty fun. I think he's got five-star skill moves as well. The Stories League SBC card I put in solid. Um... Sings card for Ron Pacos for it and Ligan also put an average. Asensio, the current uh, card that you can work towards in, of course, um, La Liga, Liga, not yet, yeah, the new La Liga League SB, not SBC, the new La Liga League objective card. That's a bit of a mouthful to be able to work towards. He goes into solid. Into the full birthday stuff. Um, Wallace, who's currently available right now, is a solid card. So he's like one of the best silver cards actually in the game. Uh, they put in like a, a few more Brazilian silver cards as well, didn't they? So this Marcus Andre card I put into average. Uh, Chowdhury's SB, uh, not SBC, objective card I put into solid. Uh, Dalbert I would put into, into average. Dan I'd put into average. Mandanda, this card I'm putting in God tier purely for the fact that it was one of the most Fun objective cards I've ever had to work towards in the game. What would have been really cool is here if they could have made this, you know, Foot Birth is about kind of making cards in like weird positions sometimes. Uh, kind of like what they did with Foot Freeze and stuff. But uh, obviously giving it to Mandana was was fine. But couldn't they give this like Kyle Walker or something? And, you know, remember when Kyle Walker went in goals against like Atalanta last season? Uh, or was against, I think it was either against uh, Gladbach or Atalanta. I think it was Atalanta. And he didn't concede like any goal for like the final 20 minutes of the match or whatever. It would have been really cool if EA would have recognized that and given like a goalkeeping card. But anyway, I loved like the concept of being able to work towards this card. It was... So fun, uh, and purely because of that, he goes into God tier. Uh, the card itself in game, average, but I mean, just for working towards it, it has to go in God tier. I think out of all the objective cards, he was the most fun one to be able to work towards because, of course, you had to use a full select like 11 of goalkeepers. Um, so it was pretty fun. Hopefully, do more of that. Like, for every goalkeeper from now on, make that the way that we have to get them because goalkeeper cards working towards them aren't very exciting. I don't think there's too many of the goalkeepers. He's like, is he the only goalkeeper that we've had this game? As an objective card, you know what? It genuinely might be because I can't see any of the goalkeepers here at all, which is actually crazy. It literally is, isn't it? Yeah, there's no other goalkeeper that we've had apart from him. So maybe if we if we get more goalkeeper cards, then then that's what they're gonna do. That's pretty insane. I'm gonna really just realize that right now. Anyway, um Otavio at point in solid. Um Brand, who's currently available in this season's progress cards, average can drive I'd put solid. Fosu. Average Gomez, I would put. Um, I'm going to be unlocking him because I want him from a full Liga Nos team, but and obviously he'll be an improvement to that. But on the whole, for most people, probably average. Huntelaar solid, and then Lamella solid as well. So there we go, guys. That is the complete list of all the objective cards released so far as of early April, 11th of April, um, 2021. They are all the 104 objective cards. In FIFA 21, quite a few there, quite a few League SBC cards and what if cards featuring in the God tier uh, section there. Uh, I think the most re out of God tier, the, the, the most recent one that we had was Mandanda. Um, you'd have to go back to early in the game for, for the likes of Mole and, and Jota, but I thought they were very, very good cards. Solid features quite heavily in this one because. Um, I, I think a lot of the cards are, are good to be able to work towards. I'd say even the cards in average are still probably worth working towards. It's the cards that are in the poor and rubbish section that really won't work, worth working towards or choosing. Uh, and there aren't too many in that category. Let me guys know what you think uh, as well. Would you change any of the uh, the rankings that I've given to these players? And, and I think we will revisit this after team of the season. Um, I'll definitely come back and we'll do another video taking a look at this because it, 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 I like making them. They are pretty fun and you guys certainly seem to enjoy it with the SBC. So hopefully you've enjoyed it with the objectives as well. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.